Why not combine a diesel engine with a gasoline engine? The one is economical and has high torque. The other is particularly clean. The best thing would be an engine which combines all of these characteristics. But is this even possible? The Mercedes-Benz F700 research vehicle makes this idea a reality. The research vehicle is powered by a Desoto engine and provides an insight at how the comfortable touring sedan of the future could look. But where does the name Desoto come from? Der Motor an sich ist ein Automotor. The engine is essentially a gasoline engine. The D's approach comes from the fact that we utilize a combustion process, which functions in a manner similar to the diesel engine, namely without spark plugs and which ignites on its own, and thus the similarity in the name. Und daher diese Wortverwandtschaft. Thus, a gasoline engine with a combustion process without spark plugs, self-ignition like a diesel engine. However, that does not mean that the engine works entirely without spark plugs. The revolutionary engine ignites the fuel-air mixture when starting and at full throttle using spark plugs like a normal gasoline engine. This ensures sufficient power. At low and middle engine speeds, the gasoline engine rapidly transforms into a self-igniting engine, like a diesel engine without spark plugs. The mixture is compressed so hard that it ignites on its own and burns extremely efficiently. And because engines primarily run in this range, this saves a large amount of fuel. The F700 only consumes 5.3 liters of gasoline per 100 kilometers. This is extremely low for a large touring sedan. Together, with a variable compression system, turbocharger and direct injection, the DeSoto generates 238 horsepower. A hybrid module supports the DeSoto with an additional 20 horsepower from an electric motor. This makes the engine extremely efficient and clean. And as a result, the DeSoto has already been awarded prizes for its innovative technology and outstanding environmental friendliness. In December 2007 in London, with the Safety and Technology Award, and in February 2008 in Paris, with the Environment Grand Prize.